building right there. Uh, a little bit of rust forming there. And I think on the other side is a little, little piece over here. Uh, you know, there's a lot of paint that's coming off, you know. Uh, this is the spot that's the rust is bad, if you want to call it bad. But this has got to be lifted up. I've avoided it, and you see it's getting kind of crunchy here. You know, I guess a lot of guys, they fill it with epoxy as opposed to Bondo. But you got to get this stuff up. And then it's dripping the rust underneath. So you got to get under here. It's really not, it's, it's, it's not really, you know, rusted under here. You know, but this is all fading, you know. This is shrinking. This plastic thing goes around the window. I've touched it up with the right color paint, you know, here and there. Because it's just, for some, the paint is just very thin in, in places. You know, this piece, the chrome is coming off that piece. That thing got hooked underneath at one time. Very little, you know, a few pit marks coming through. Obviously, it'll clean up pretty good. It's missing the um, the fillers. This side has only uh, a couple of them. I, I, I sprayed over them. They're there, but they're not as bad. But ultimately, the, the roof has got to be uh, lifted up in order to make that happen. But the interior is very nice. The rear seat's probably never been sat in. Um, the front is very nice. Let's see, this guy's a thermometer. Uh, the locks worked when I first got it, but then I got under this thing because this this guy was getting loose. And I, I tightened this, but I was also doing something else here. I think this was loose. And then it stopped working, the, uh, the, power, uh, the power lock. Um, but it's not really a big deal. But for a 77 to have um, wipers, has a turbo 400, has telescopic steering. I leave it up because actually, even though it's up, I can kind of force it down. I don't want to push too hard. But, you know, if you go like this, if you go like this, oh, apparently there's a problem with my, my horn. It does work, but it's very low, the horn, anyway. So, um, anyway, so if I put it all the way down, you can kind of pull it up still. So that's why I just leave it up. Um, cruise control. The button's over there, and there's a button over here. Uh, remote mirror. This is an A-Track. A lot of rear options. It has a rear defogger, and I believe it has a trunk release. Um, as far as the, you know, the, the headliner is actually in good shape. Other than the guy was probably a smoker. There's a couple of, you know, darker stains that has to be cleaned. But I put these clips there to kind of pull the material forward because it's it's stretched, and, it, you know, the glue came off pretty much. Um... This has the mirror. You know, but it's, it's a good car. It's been sitting here for about, I don't know, two or three weeks. Um, carburetor could be rebuilt. Um, it doesn't, like a lot of these GM cars, they have, um, close the door. They have, yeah, this closer, you gotta slam it hard to close it. Something's a little off kilter with that. Um, Oh, she has a mileage minder as well, you know, which is rare for these cars. But it has 104,000 miles. I bought it with like 92,000. So since 2013, I put uh, 12,000 miles on it roughly. Um, but uh, a lot of these cars, the carburetor do doesn't have an adjustment screw. They have a cap over it. So you got to pull off the cap. You'd be surprised how well you get it to work after that, you know. But I got to pump it a fair amount of times. Oh, now my battery's dead. Oh, well. That never happened. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I guess that's why the horn didn't work. But I'll work on that. But it, honestly, there's nothing wrong with the battery. I don't know why it died, but uh, uh, I did something. But you know, forgive the mess. But like I said, the car's in very nice shape. I think one of these things are gone. This one's loose. And that one's loose. I thought one of these buttons were gone. You know, but it's in very nice shape. Very comfortable car. Power seat. Um, so, I like the car. I really do. I really don't want to sell it. But, you know, uh, I'm basically giving it away for $2,000. i am not selling it for any less. Just letting you know. Thanks.